Facebook live session about taking your business online. Today we have Daniel Fisher of Tienda Digital. Give us a wave. Daniel. There we go. We've got Jenny Hardman. Give us a wave. And we've got Sean Hill. There we go. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. Um, as we said, the, the title of today's session is, is Taking Your Business Online. So this is obviously in the new world order. Things have changed quite a lot recently. We've all gone from having premises and offices and shop fronts to being stuck at home, often with the kids. And it's a, a big culture shock for everybody. Last week, we talked about um, how, how people can maximise working from home and how they can get the benefit still out of that. So today, this is more aimed at businesses who have um, always always run out of a premises. For example, if you've had like a, a shop or a cafe or something that's always been on the high street or you're based out of an office, and all of a sudden you're not allowed to trade there anymore, um, <clears throat> and your world of work has changed. So it's designed really for people if you if some of you might have had a bit of an online presence you might have been using facebook had a page have a bit of a website but you don't update it often or you might have never had an online presence you might have relied totally on the on the footfall that you get this is who have um oh that was I, me sorry <laughs> <laughs> I heard myself coming back at me then get rid of um, <laughs> so yeah, so it's uh, aimed at uh, businesses that might not have had any kind of online uh, profile at all, and this is a completely alien world to you. So this is who this this session is mainly aimed at: is for employers, employees, uh, people who have have shut up shop um, altogether, essentially for this this three month period or however long it lasts, or people who are still trying their best to trade. So we've got quite a lot to cover. We're also going to take some um, questions towards the end. So if you are watching and you have a question, if you type it into the comments, then we will be able to uh, answer your questions, hopefully, if we know the answers. Comments below. Comments below, yeah. What, what do the kids say? Subscribe now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Um, okay, so one of the things we were we were uh, wanted want to do with with these sessions is to share our experiences really because obviously i mean we're, we we pitch ourselves as experts we're not saying that we are world experts at this subject but we are all business owners and we have all uh, experienced some of these problems ourselves so i am just going to go around the people that are here and, and ask what what your experience is how does your business run is it a completely online business or has it only recently recently started to move online. So I'm going to come to you first. Tell me about your business, please. Yeah, so primarily we are web design and mobile app development. So most of our stuff we do online anyway. So the good thing for us is that we can literally work from anywhere. Yes, we do prefer to be in the office because people are interacting with each other. It's that physical kind of presence of others and just it's that socializing, isn't it? I think that aspect of it is no longer there. But for us, it it was literally a tiny adjustment of going, right, do you have a desk at home? Yeah, okay, great. Some of our guys work at home anyway, so we were well equipped with it and quite a bit more ahead than most. Yeah. Uh, luckily, we've got a good IT company, um, Jay at Claritel over in Blackburn, to talk to us out, um, make sure we could work from home. We've all got mobile apps, so the office phone rings to our routes, we could transfer, etc. So for us, it was an easy kind of process, but we know it's not for a lot of our clients. Mm. That's it. And, and how, in terms of kind of how your business runs, I mean, obviously you're a, you're a digital business, aren't you? So um, do you, I know you, well, obviously we know each other through networking, um, but where would you say kind of most of your clients have come from? Do, you don't have footfall that, that comes through the office. I presume most of it's sort of online and face-to-face -face referrals. So most of ours is networking. So uh, obviously we're in Lancashire, so you've got a couple of networks that myself and David go to, like BNI, Shout, those type of places. The Shout Expos are great. They give us a lot of exposure, um, and that's mainly a lot of it. And most of it is referral. Obviously, we rank well online for app development, etc. Obviously, that's your forte, um, so you know the power of that. So we rank well a lot of networking referred on from current clients and again most of it is the networking side which again i thought would take a massive hit with what we're doing at the moment but as we know we're on a networking call this morning and to be honest it's giving people that freedom to kind of jump in that they might not necessarily have the time before they're not traveling 
Mm. So yeah, um, that's mainly where our kind of work comes from online. LinkedIn's as busy as ever at the moment. Um, we we started doing loads of videos about like content on uh, what works in our industry, talking about what we know about, and again, that's led us give us a lot of leads. So that's also helped. And I think at the moment, this is a great time for people to start getting the content out there. Mm. Everyone's at home, the board, the scrolling through. I can imagine the people who are already famous on YouTube and making money are making a lot more at the moment. TikTok. Yeah. 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 I don't I, to be honest, I don't know about TikTok too much. I don't know if you can make much money. No, I know I, I get it. <laughs> it's bonkers, but that's what it is. <laughs> YouTube is a revenue model. You know they make money there. There's advertising sponsorship, there's um selling your own merchandise the money's there that's been there for years tiktok's a brand new thing where you just go is it my target market do i make money from it i don't know i'll stick to doing websites and stuff and making a few videos mm. with mark and then push me on youtube that'll do <laughs> we are we are going to come back to it uh, we're going to come you mentioned two things there so one of them is is networking which has now moved online for for most of the in fact i think all of the local networks have gone online so i i am going to come back to that but also um kind of uh, how you how you start to use utilize social media and and navigate your way through it when you have no idea about any of it is something we're certainly going to come back to um so jenny in the meantime tell me about your business your experience at the moment and how you're operating Okay, so I'm Jenny Hardman, I'm a business coach and I've been doing this for about four years and I'm not ashamed to say that when I first started I was, um, I'd go to the opening of an envelope, I'd go to every networking that was around, but I soon realised that that was not effective uh, because you're just meeting lots of people and you're not building any relationships. What I'd actually done this year since the 1st of January was actually migrate 99.9% .9 of my customers online anyway, so rather than doing face-to-face -face, um, consultations I'd do them via Zoom. Thank goodness that I did that. Now, a lot of people are not in that position where they've already made that and how to utilize it effectively. They just think throwing out a buy my shit post. No one's buying it. Do you know what? That's weird. Mm. We don't listen to, you know, buy my stuff. It's engaging people with relationships. You won't see me using my Facebook page very much because the uh, the algorithms and the engagement, we all know that Facebook's a money-making organization. They